So, let's talk about buying wigs in Voice Red and River Red. So this is a disclaimer, I am not in any way bashing the goods sold in River Road and Du Bois Road. I am just informing people on what to expect basing on my experience and those people around me. If you have watched my video on uh, things I wish I knew before I bought a wig, all those factors apply. But now since we are talking about Du Bois Road and River Road, there are a little bit more things you should know. If you have not watched the video, I'll leave a link on the description below. Before you buy a wig in the Boys Road or River Road, make sure you have gone to different shops. Compare prices. The very first time I bought a wig, this wig, I was so excited. I did not think of going to look for other options first. I did not think of going to compare prices first. Imagine my surprise when I found this exact wig selling at almost half the price at another shop on the same day so please always compare prices before you buy i know there's always somewhere cheaper i just know another thing always try on different wigs to see which one looks good on you make sure it suits the shape of your head and also if you're laying up by it And also, if you are buying a dyed wig, make sure the color complements your skin tone. So, I have gone to very many different shops in Du Bois Road and River Road. And one thing I realized, the semi-human wigs are not really semi-human wigs. So yes, they are cheap, they are very cheap, but that's because it's just synthetic hair. They have just removed the shine and uh, you'll notice this after maybe one week or even less after wearing the wig. Another thing, the semi-human units break a lot. Like with every brush, you lose hair. So just be aware, those strands of hair on the floor after you brush might embarrass you. They might embarrass you very badly. And we don't want this now, do we? Of course not. Then with these semi-human hairs, expect a lot of flyaways i'd rather not talk about how many times i've had to remove strands of hair stuck in my eyes in public and then some of these strands of hair just decide to fly into your mouth when you're on a date like sometimes you even have to hold your hair back just so you can eat in peace also very important bargain most of the time the items are Bargainable, the beya kuongea. If you can't bargain, carry along a friend who knows how to bargain. Bargain. Then, do not be tricked into buying something you do not like. This happens a lot. These are people doing sales. If you don't like it, leave it. This is your hard earned money. Or maybe easy. I don't know, but whatever. So, if you don't like it, don't take it. And again, if you can't say no, carry along a friend who knows how to say no. I do that all the time and it has helped me. I have friends who know how to say no. <laughs> but anyway guys, that's it for today. If you found this video useful, smash the like button and uh, let me know what you think. Leave your comments in the comment section below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!